Hello everyone, welcome back for another commentary style video. Today we are bashing astrology TikTok. Oh my god, this one's not going to be fun. So astrology TikTok. That's a thing that I didn't even think I wanted to learn about, know about, or talk about. But as you do one day searching for content, you go on TikTok trying to steal other people's stuff. And I was like, hey, let me go to the discovery ch section of my TikTok. Found astrology within one of the top tiers. And it, my oh my, is it both popular and stupid. Let me tell you. The amount of, of them I watched just to get content for this video, which was a lot. Don't get me wrong. The amount I watched, though, I felt my brain cells disappear. From the rising, the falling, the sun, moon, the houses. I had no idea what was going on. I was not only dumbfounded. But actually kind of intrigued to how these people think these things. So first off, let's talk about this one lady, girl, it, whatever. Let's talk about this one person who believes that their relationships slash whatever personal things they have is related to your star signs. Forever alone placements in your birth chart. If you have these placements in your chart, it's probably going to take you a long time to find your person or you're not going to get married for a while. Leos and Cancer Risings experience long periods of singleness. That's because Saturn rules your relationship house, meaning that you'd rather be single than waste your time with people who aren't marriage material. If you have Saturn in the seventh house, then you're probably not going to find your one true love for a while. People with Saturn here are usually late bloomers in love, and it takes you guys a while to commit. If you have Saturn square Venus or Saturn opposite Venus, you're probably not going to find your one true love for a while. Even if you do have relationships, you may find that these people are not marriage material and you don't want to be with them long term. These are just general guidelines and there are dozens of other placements in your chart that can change your fate. So make sure you get with an astrologer to find out what's going on in your specific chart. If any of you fall in these categories like that she kind of explained and you're actually alone and you feel like it's because of your star sign, don't think that. Like seriously, you're alone for some other reason. Either you're not looking or that you're just kind of unlikable. Don't think that the positioning of the planets and the stars has anything to do with this. Because, yeah, in the universe, planets and stars move. It's kind of how the gravity of things happens. There's a black... Here, let's just talk about a little bit of physics real quick. There's a black hole in the center of our galaxy. It turns the same way that the moon spins around the earth do you consider the moon to be like this magical entity that will dictate your life no i didn't think so so why would you let your love life fail because you're what was it aries yeah jesus christ this is ugh. now don't get me wrong people love to hear that they're right or wrong because people are sheep no, like People who don't search out their own information and just go with what's said are sheep. Let's just let's just get down to brass tacks here. They have no idea what they're doing and they like being told what to do. So if your star signs tell you that you're going to be successful or something like that, yeah, you're, of course you're going to be happy and go along with it. I do not bash people's faith or religion. What I do bash is how people turned astrology into this cult-like obsession to where they will actually attack people and not help them out because of a certain star sign it is baffling dumbfounding and overall just stupid how people will actually harm and treat others differently because they were born on a different day this is like zero iq kind of stuff i can just no one in the world should be treated any other way because of race religion or birthday, I guess. Jesus. I know everyone who's new to this astrology thing. If you're thinking about getting into it and all that, fine by me. Don't treat others differently. But, but, this isn't, this is to get off the tangent. Not to, like, second guess myself. Because I know I'm right. But, but, here's a lady who's gonna tell us what rising signs and star signs mean in general. You know what? I'm interested myself to learn what they are, so let's just see what they are. Here's another way to think about sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign. 
So rising sign is dead ass your character, your personality, like you as a meme is your rising sign. The sun sign is more so what you want to achieve success or knowledge in. And your moon sign is your fight or flight or freeze response. Okay, so we're basically taking basic human characteristics and turning them into signs. So, let's just think. Okay, all humans are programmed with the internal state of thinking, Hey, if there's danger, I gotta go. So that's my moon sign, I guess? And how- okay. What if it changes? What if my moon sign just, like, randomly just decides to be something else? What do I do if there's danger? Like, let's say there's a snake on the floor. I was like, oh jeez, I'm a Capricorn today, I guess I'm gonna have to pick it up. Jesus Christ, I, I, I have no idea how these people come to this delusional belief that the, the movement of things will change how you are. Your personality is not based on a planet or a, a constellation. Yeah, they're pretty to look at, but think about this. Think, think real hard. If you're a person, you have your own things. Yeah, crazy. People are different. Oh my god, it's it's this crazy thing. Now, you know what? I'm going to get off this little tangent and just talk about this. These things work the same way as fortune telling. They are so vague that literally anyone could fall under these categories, no matter their birthday, no matter who they are, no matter what culture they come from, they'll fall under some category, and they will believe it if they're gullible and dumb enough, or if they want to have enough faith on something, so. It's just like, it's everywhere, and people make millions of monies off this. Like, let's think real quick here. These TikTokers have millions, and I do mean millions of support and fans, which means they have lots of content deal, like brand placements within them. Which makes a company who is peddling off this third world garbage, making it super lucrative. You guys can't, like, disagree with me here. These are really smart business people if they don't believe in it. If they don't believe in this astrology thing and they're just on TikTok promoting this. They are so smart. Because that is a big, like, bundle of people that you're hitting. They are, will spend millions of dollars a year on being told that they are a good person because they were born on a certain, like, night or day. It's just, these are business people at heart, and we have to realize that, and it is terrifying. I know I'm scared that these guys are making money off this stupidity. And I know you guys are most likely scared that these guys are making money off this stupidity. We're all just scared. Sticking with the topic of star signs and how they make so much money, we have Megan Fox being interviewed by Machine Gun Kelly. Just saying, right? I don't even know if it makes sense because I don't understand astrology. Please, if you do, guys, if you're still here at this point in time, comment down below. Is this right? Did Megan Fox say the correct things? I am not sure. But back on topic, Megan Fox is telling Machine Gun Kelly about literally, I don't know what, about who he is as a person because he asked what his sun, rising sign, moon, and all that is. And he is just as dumbfounded as I am right now. Like, we both have the same expression on our face. And I'm not even there. He's literally interviewing this girl. Woman, Megan Fox, popular actress, you guys know her, come on. Well, let's just, let's just watch it. Let's just, let, let, it's right there. It's my son, sign. Your sun is Taurus, your moon is Pisces, your rising is Gemini, you have a stellium of planets in Pisces, your sun is in the 12th house, which is the house that's ruled by Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces. You're very Piscean and you're very Gemini very morose and the moods are very intense but i know the whole chart okay well obviously you win this game but we're gonna finish this out just for the people i feel like i'm at hogwarts after that video <laughs> jesus christ we're talking about houses and what they mean ne the house of neptune what the hell it's like oh my god he's just as done with it as i am right now and i could tell you guys are probably done with this garbage too if you have any kind of brain function but jesus christ at this point it's just 
these people will explain away anything with star signs like whoopsie doodle i accidentally robbed the first national bank i'm such a capricorn oh my god you know what props to them their belief is so great i could i could my me myself i could not believe in any of this i kind of envy their blind trust of colors and shapes within the sky it's so cool that they could believe this it's just wow all right um what's next all right let's get on the topic of personal growth because god god knows that these guys don't believe in personal growth all right so there is this girl oh i don't again they're all girls like i have not seen a single guy who truly believed in all this stuff all right, but there's this one girl who believes personal growth is not up to you as a person. It's up to your star sign. And that is All right, you know what? I'll talk to it. I'll talk about it after this. Here, play the video right here. They're the signs having the largest transformation over the next two years due to Pluto and Capricorn. All Capricorn placements, you're going to have the largest transformation of all the signs and you're going to become a completely different person. Aries rising, you may get a new career that will completely change your life. Libra rising, you may move to a new place, travel a lot, or start a new family. Cancer rising, you may enter or already be in a long-term relationship that will completely change your life, or you may have a breakup. Did you hear all the oars? All the ors in that sentence was, was a lot. But these are so vague that even if you are within those star signs, they could happen to you. Yeah. If you're a cancer, yeah, you might be in an online relationship or you might break up with someone. Yeah. You might. But to base your entire year off that, like, oh no, I'm a cancer. That means I'll either find love or lose love. Which one is it? I can't tell. <laughs> oh my god. And what was the other one? Aries rising? I don't know. These rising signs and falling signs are... Mm, they're buzzing in my head and I'm broken. I'm just crumble. All right. Okay. So personal growth and change is something that happens within everyone. You will most likely change from year to year. That's just how the world works. But how are you going to let the position of a planet or a constellation affect you to me what i'm thinking of is these tre people treat it like a prophecy and they're trying to fulfill that prophecy themselves by making it happen which is feeding into into their own like delusion their own self-indulgence and they're going to make it happen which will then do this positive feedback loop to where oh geez it happened which means my belief is true and because my belief is true i should believe it even more which will make them again, get in the cycle of them doing the thing that their sign told them to do and believing that it was their sign that told them to do it. But no, it, it's your, yourself. Yourself is the thing that's doing the changing. You are just being controlled by colors in the sky. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just, so I'm broken right now, so I'm just going to finish up this video by stating if you believe in this stuff and you aren't harmful to anyone, that's fine. Good on you. I love, you know what? I respect you. If you could believe in star signs and all that, good on you. I don't, I'm not bashing your beliefs. I'm bashing those who believe in it too much and think that it's everything. But if you are like a normal person who is like, oh geez, I'm a Taurus. That's cool. So I might be a little angry or a little hot headed sometimes. That's fine. Don't make it your entire personality because people who do are so annoying. Like, Okay, let's talk about a little story time. Just a little bit tangent. I was, um, at, I was kind of talking to this girl I liked. It's normal stuff, you guys understand. I was talking to this girl I liked, and within the first, like, 30 seconds of me even meeting her, like, for, um, face-to-face, -face, because we knew each other through a friend group, but my first time I met her face-to-face, -face, she started talking about her star sign and moon sign and asking if what mine were and if she could, like, tell my future on them, and I was like, <laughs> no, no, I, I ran out of there faster than Usain Bolt in the 20-meter dash. All right, off topic, but let's, let's just wrap this up. Again, star signs, moon signs, and all that are fine. I really don't care about them as much as I, this video makes, like, I care enough to make a video about it because that's what gets me views, but I don't care enough to, like, actually 
target someone. Like, I'm never going to talk about this outside of a video scape. So, if you guys believe in that, fine. You're cool, I guess. Ugh. Just you know, don't hurt people. Don't attack people. Don't In this video, don't attack any of the people I showed. That's mean, and I'm not telling you to do that. Any of these TikTokers that you don't believe with and that you think are dumb and stupid, yeah, so do I. That's why I put them in the video. Don't attack them. That only feeds into their own delusion. Be nice, be kind on the internet, and maybe one day, maybe one day we could get rid of all the toxicity. To be honest, there's no need for it. This is just like a little funny video to fill up my YouTube channel with some stuff, because I like commentary videos. You guys like commentary videos. It's just, don't go out and attack everyone. Have fun on the internet. Play some video games. Draw. Read a book. Drink some water. And I love you guys. See you in the next commentary or VR chat video. I do both. Alright. I love you guys. I'll see ya.